Welcome to The Antic Show. While you are here, please hit that subscribe button, join our page, hit the little bell so you know when we upload. We got some really cool conversations coming up with some really cool people. Now, let me just show some love to my sponsors and let's get this rolling, baby. Mobile Wash. The future of car washes is now, ladies and gentlemen. Download the only on-demand car wash app and your car wash specialist will be on their way to you in minutes, whether you're at home chilling or at work hustling. And make sure you use my promo code OKAPE without any spaces to get your car wash discount now. TriStar Worldwide Freight Brokerage. Loads in all 50 states, South America, India, the Philippines, 20 offices in Armenia, and they continue to grow. And they are huge supporters of the community and entertainers like myself. TriStar, join the movement. Camera Productions, positivity for all your photography needs, bringing you professionalism and a very fun personality to work with, specializing in luxury weddings, uh, lifestyle photography, and luxury real estate productions. Call your favorite photographer right now. Lights, camera productions, and action. New York Life Insurance. Look, life is crazy and full of surprises. That's why you prepare for the absolute worst while planning for the future. For all your life insurance and retirement planning needs, call my boy Siamanto at New York Life Insurance. Welcome back to another episode of The Antic Show. Today we have someone very special for many reasons actually very special as a very talented person a very good guy and my brother-in-law so i'm going to introduce you to this guy hello brother hello brother hello brother <laughs> nice welcome good to see you. thank you all right Cazaro in welcome the house welcome. i'm sure you know him too i see um, i'm sure yeah 80 <laughs> um, percent certain i wanted i wanted to bring suren because i feel like he's one of the I, I mean, I'm just going to say unsung heroes because no one really knows who does the work that you're putting out into the world, you know, and I, I've been blown away by what he does since the day my sister introduced me to him. I said, yes, he's good. We could stick with him. He's, yeah. a, he's a good candidate. Uh, Arnold uh, was my biggest fan. Yes. Yeah. I'm still your biggest fan. Uh, he's a sketch artist. He's an illustrator and a pretty big one in the industry. So like you're passing by movie posters. A lot of times you have no idea that this the original sketch of what you're seeing went through this guy's uh, pen and or now tablet the way things work. So welcoming you, Mr. Suren Galajan. It's a good to have you here, brother. Good to finally expose you to my followers and the Armenian community and hopefully a lot uh, more communities than just the Armenian community. Thank you. Uh, honored to be here. Uh, I want to uh, first off start off by saying that this is one of the guys where He's a very humble person. I know I'm, I'm not going to put you on the spot like this. I know you don't like to be talked about too much. That comes with being humble. But uh, he's one of the most talented people I've ever met in my life. Not like you Absolutely. know exactly what I'm talking yeah. about. Uh, and you've got quite an interesting story uh, coming. F you moved from Armenia when you were about 16, I think, if I'm not mistaken. 17. 17 years old. So True. Did you know English when, when you guys moved here? Zero. Zero English. Zero English. Zip yeah. zilch. What city did you guys move straight to when you guys... First city we settled was Hollywood. Um, not as I expected. For some reason, I expected there will be much taller buildings, but yeah. mm -hmm. it wasn't. Uh, but yeah, settled there. Went to Hollywood High. Went to Hollywood High. Yeah, world famous Hollywood High. And you went. You were a se senior once you got there, or I wouldn't. No, imagine. I started from tenth grade. Gotcha. Um, and uh, towards uh, graduation, uh, we moved to Glendale. Mm -hmm. which is where all, mm. all Armenians were moving at the time. Finally moved to Finally, Glendale. <laughs> yeah, mission accomplished at that yes. point. Uh, yeah. And then until college years arrived. With, with Glendale, did you go to Glendale High as well? No, I had already graduated high school. Okay, yeah, so okay, I, was, yeah. uh, I was starting college gotcha. uh, as we moved to Glendale. And um, I, I, of course, art school wasn't my first art school. I had uh, four years art education from Armenia. Gotcha which um was pretty solid you yeah. Know. yeah yeah i would education imagine. in armenia it's when it comes stringent. to art yeah yeah, yeah they, they don't joke around no. yeah it's pretty sure. solid for sure and um yeah then went to um otis mm -hmm. um art school of choice um what is that where where is otis? uh it at the time it was in downtown los angeles hmm. not a very good area gotcha eventually as i uh, was about to graduate art school they moved to Westchester, right next to LAX, much better location, longer drive. Gotcha. Um, and uh, of course, meanwhile, I was working uh, as I was uh, doing school. What were you doing? Um, 
I stumbled upon uh, this industry, the uh, advertising, movie poster advertisement industry, when I was still in high school. Mm. Uh, my art teacher had uh, contacted or was contacted by a recruiter uh, who was looking for talented uh, students, artists. Yeah. yeah. Um, so. Um, this was Hollywood High. Yeah, while I was at Hollywood gotcha. High. So then he mentioned this to me and mm. said, you know, there's a opportunity uh, to go do this kind of work. I had no clue what uh, movie industry was at the time. You didn't know what you're signing up for. Here. I didn't know. I knew there was an industry where they make movies. Right, right. But I didn't know there was an industry where they do advertisement. They do movie posters. I've seen posters before. Just didn't think of it. You just think they just sometimes you just think things just it exist. just happen. They just happen. Yeah. They're just born. You know, there's a whole thing behind yeah. it. Yeah. You think it's like uh, a frame from a movie? They capture it, sure, put a yeah. title on it. Yeah. yeah. Uh, just not much thought went into it. Gotcha. And um, I went over to the studio, uh, looked around. I was amazed with all the posters, with all the artwork that was there, right. artists working, and I'm like, this is kind of cool. Yeah. You know. My, um, my idea prior to that was uh, getting into animation, maybe comic books. Whatnot. So you already had your sights set on certain things. You just didn't know you'd end up in kind of like the movie poster industry world. Like you didn't even know it exists for crying out loud, right? I mean, exactly. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah, yeah. It's not something that they uh, educate you mm -hmm. in schools uh, that there is this industry out there. You should no. learn to go work right. there. Right. So once uh, I realized that I can work here and you know make money and have fun at the same time i thought this is i'm home that's you cool know? that's uh, cool i'd imagine like have you ever tried going back to oh this like you should have your picture there on the wall thing like yeah you know in my high school bro you know who's in the high school that i went to you know who was in the hallway for <laughs> the student who mike made tyson it? no <laughs> jaleel white you know who jaleel white is <laughs> I in our don't. entire public school marshall pasadena hallway there was steve urkel's picture bro he went to my high school. Got it. Yeah. <laughs> Wait, Jaleel nothing, White is the it has nothing to do with education. You know, it has or nothing. He, they don't even offer a, acting a, classes actor. in our school. They don't even <laughs> a, offer acting classes. Right. Like, yeah. Right. He came out of here. Yeah. It's, it's kind of <laughs> like the hospital putting a picture of a celebrity and saying he was born here. Yeah. 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 <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. It goes deep as you can to pick yeah. something out. That's very, very funny. That's very funny. Uh, I remember one time you, I was blown away by a story you told me about the, the summer program that you were chosen for. There was 2,000 uh, candidates, I believe. Tell us that story because I, he told me this story one time and I got emotional, bro, because he's kind of like walked into something big and he still doesn't know good English. You get what I'm saying? True. Yeah, it was a, a bit of a difficult path. Um, so state offers a scholarship uh, for our uh, our students during high school this during time. high school yeah, yeah. to go through this um, training at CalArts um, to train for college right uh -huh. and uh, 2,000 um, students get scholarship and it was um, everything paid for pretty much so uh, I got to go be one of the you were 2, one of the 2,000 yeah and it was a pretty awesome experience when, for the first time, away from the family in a different location, meeting uh, this new uh, group of people. Yeah. And uh, we were all artists. Everybody did artwork, and we were they were they weren't grading you necessarily, but they were paying attention and observing mm -hmm. yeah. who does what. Yeah. And every year, um, out of the two thousand one person gets to be the best of the year gotcha. and there's award show and you get awarded so on and so forth. One out of 2000. One yeah. out of 2000. So I got, not looking good. I got chosen that year, which I had no clue that was going to happen. That's and insane, I got a bro. phone call later on that year. Um, and this young lady on the phone telling me that, oh, there's going to be an award show mm -hmm. and that I need to attend. I need to be dressed in tuxedo, whatnot. It's going to be in mm -hmm. Beverly Hilton or something um, and uh, Spielberg is going to be one of the people wow, getting awards crazy. and a few other big names that I forget at the moment and so oh David Hockney was another artist that was getting awarded that that year mm. at that uh, particular event 
So, uh, of course, they said you have to uh, give a speech. Uh, and the award is actually called First Lady's Award. Gotcha. So, um, <laughs> of course, that shook me when I heard that I had to give a speech because my English was pretty bad. Yeah. Okay, yeah, yeah. I had pretty pretty little English at the That's time. That's what makes the story very unique. To me, <laughs> and <right>? so... Um, <laughs> Uh, we go to the the show award and, and did you go alone? Did you go with your family? Uh, my sister and my uh, brother-in-law came nice. along, and nice. of course, my art teacher from our high school was there. Because you are yeah. representing your school too. Yeah, yeah. they were very proud. Yeah, they yeah, were very sure. proud that one yeah. of their one of their students uh, was uh, getting an award. Um, as well as we had some visitors from Sacramento, from governor's office. They wow. were Armenians wow. who had found found out. Um, no way, and they came they down were so as an proud. Armenian. Yeah, they yeah. came and they wanted to sit at our table wow. because they were just proud Armenians. That, you know, Hell yeah, it was an uh, amazing time. So then they said, okay, now in about uh, whatever amount of time you're going to go up and you got to uh, say your thank you speech for uh, receiving the award. And I was like, uh, are you sure about that? Is this something? I can't, I don't know, I can't do yeah. it. And how They're old like, were you no, you have to. How old were you at this point? Um, this was all high school years, 17, 18, probably. 18 maybe, sure. yeah, something like that. Yeah. And um, I heard my name, uh -huh. all panicking and shaking. Yeah, of course. Um, went up there, went up on stage, had no clue what I'm going to do. Mm. Um, it was one of those moments that you have dreams about where you're just like standing naked in front of a lot of people. In public. Yeah, okay, yeah, yeah, this yeah, is yeah. what it was. Yeah, yeah. And um, I don't even remember what I said. I just said a few words uh, afterwards, um, came down, and I'm like, what did I say? They're like, oh, you <laughs> yeah, said great. It was great. <laughs> Whatever you, you said did. Good you words. said good words. <laughs> <laughs> That's cool, man. <laughs> yeah, it That's was cool. funny. Um, and after the uh, ceremony, we, had, we took pictures with Spielberg, who uh, I knew very little of at the time, but it was uh, an honor to... Yeah. be there and take a photo with this guy uh then is that learning photo still how, here today i you know i have the photo it's actually print uh, oh, that wow. we don't see nowadays i don't think wow. i've seen that I it's think... a have you seen that one? i know photo. i know they used to do this kind of stuff they used yeah. to print photos on paper stuff. yeah <laughs> yeah like walgreens yeah. still does it or something yeah so so uh, my question for you is while you're attending like summer uh programs and while you're in art uh, schools and people are recruiting you and stuff do you realize from people's reaction to your work that you've got something special? Like you get what I'm you get what I'm saying? Uh, are they looking at your thing like, oh, this kid is good? Like this kid, you know what I'm saying? Is there you there, does their reaction tell you anything that? Because look, I, usually very talented people think everybody can do what they do. You get what I'm saying? You. I still think everybody can do what I do. Yes, exactly. Yeah. <laughs> I see. Does that answer exactly. your question? Yeah, yeah. everybody <laughs> cannot do what you do. This comes with you know uh, being a humble person, but. You've got a special gift, and we'll we'll get into that right now. I want to show them some of your work, but uh, I mean, to win one out of the two thousand, you've definitely got to have something very unique. And like the, if you're a good dancer, you see like the judges. Oh, this guy's this kid is good. Let's get our hands around this guy. So did you realize that, or were you just kind of like just stumbling along and oh, it's nice they liked it. So you don't even realize what you you have you possess a superpower. Basically. I highly doubt it's a superpower. <laughs> I trust me. You know, look, what? this is yeah. how I look at it. I just doodle and they pay me. Yeah, yeah, mm -hmm. for sure, for sure. It, and I try to have fun along the way. Yeah. I feel like it's analogous to like, you know, the Beatles. Like they always said, like, we just made song. Like we just got together and made music. You know what I'm saying? Sure. Other course. people from outside were like, don't you realize how good this is? And they're like, well, this is just what we do, you know? Well, all I right. feel like maybe, maybe Fa it's the same way. Fair enough, fair enough. Fair enough, for sure. Well, you do have something very special. That's yeah, why. I appreciate it. Thank yeah, you. Yeah, for sure. I, let's show them some of his, his work. The uh, A lot of these things you guys have seen before, but you just never knew. So are we gentleman. starting with uh, this guy over Stir here? Echoes. Stir Echoes. Yeah, I like guy? to start with this one because this is the first artwork that went to finish, meaning um, I started with a sketch. Let's and First that. Hollywood, uh, big Hollywood film, yes? It, I'm not sure how big it was. It was a remember it. film, I yeah. Remember it. Kevin yeah. Bacon, and um, <coughs> so this specific image was a black and white sketch, a drawing that I did, and the art director wanted it kind of blurry looking and whatnot. And we had to send a presentation out at two. Mm. He 
gave me this idea at 1.35. And he said, can you do a sketch? I have 10 minutes. Just do this drawing, this idea. Mm -hmm. I got to send this presentation out to the client. Yeah. So uh, 10 minutes, I did the drawing, black and white. He colorized it in Photoshop, put that CPI filter on it, put the logo, send it to the client. He got picked to be a teaser poster. Gotcha. He went to print. Wow. Wow. And when they came back afterwards and they wanted uh, um, the high res scan of that drawing, uh -huh. in that chaos, we had lost the sketch. Get out of here, bro. Until wow. this day, we don't know where it was. Luckily, the scan was good enough resolution where we had to they used it on res it up and wow. do the finished poster. That's insane. And uh, so, so that, this was your was first fully processed, published, and this was the one first, the first one, one that, that went, went, to, the went to finish, became a poster, and was print, uh, posted everywhere. How old were you? You remember? I do not remember. Maybe early twenties. Wow. Very that's early twenties. Cool. Yeah. That's cool, man. Uh, and um, let's move so forward. it it was like a proud moment. I'm like, oh yeah, oh, this course. is kind of cool. Of you course. Know? Hell yeah. And then of course, 2012. And this is probably one of my favorite pieces that ended up being going to print. Um, started out with the idea that came from uh, filmmakers. Right. And basically, um, filmmakers wanted to do a series of artwork, a series of posters that represent a major city of the world gotcha. being destroyed, this which is what the, the Los film Angeles is about. Version. Yeah. So this is the LA version. They said, okay, over LA, uh, Los Angeles, like a bird's eye view, yeah. LA being destroyed, make something cool out of it. Yeah. When I first looked at the photos that I was working with, they're all flat. You know, there isn't much going on. You look at bird's eye view image of LA. They're not interesting. It's, it's, flat, yeah. it's pretty boring. Yep. So I had to do something interesting. Obviously, uh, all the destruction was painted because mm -hmm. there is no destroyed LA. Right. Um, yeah. And thank this God. is prior. Uh. Thank God. Yes. Being in an earthquake zone and all. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, and this is prior to movie being made. So we don't have any CG. Nothing uh, at all. Nothing to, work to look with. at. No yeah. reference. Wow. We don't have a reference or very little if so. And um, as I'm building this area over here where, where you see the big cavity of the mm. chunk of Los Angeles downtown kind of falling apart, um, it wasn't looking interesting enough. So I'm gotcha. like, yeah, let me add something to it. Let me put this little chunk of island right as the freeway is going to go. Yeah. And have it be broken in parts cars hanging off. I'm kind of telling my own story in a way. Right, right, right. You know, I'm having fun with it. Oh, I'll have a dangling bus or I'll, you yeah, know. Yeah, for sure. There's water coming, you know, maybe there's a big sewer system. Yeah, so yeah. put all these things, uh, make it look like, you know, it it's believable. Right. Send it to filmmakers and they like it. They like it. They said, okay, it's going to print. As a matter of fact, um, uh, Mr. Emmer Emmerich, Roland Emmerich liked it so much that he wanted to add this scene with the bridge in his movie that's crazy which mm. if you remember the movie uh, if you've seen it's the been movie a while. there is a scene where they're flying through downtown sure yeah there's a small uh plane that they find and they're th flying through the buildings of downtown uh -huh. as the buildings are falling and th this scene was recreated and they go around it and they come up that's crazy and they fly away and they go to safety <laughs> safety so that eventually. idea originally came from your mind and made its way into the movie that's freaking insane now question for you if i had your job you know what i would do <laughs> very <laughs> curious <laughs> what would you do? <laughs> has nothing to do with what i and this is incredible you know if but you know what i would put easter eggs all over these things you know what i'm saying i would put Good like point yeah you, is there any is easter eggs like, how is there not like one picture of you waving like small here or something like that you know i think I, mean? I was so excited <laughs> that i was working on this project at the time that i didn't even think Bro. of doing stuff yeah, like yeah, that yeah. but that's start planning some easter people eggs. got in trouble basically are you serious people have tried that people yeah tried we that. used to have uh art directors that would put stuff like that really? easter eggs in the poster wow. 
Some would they make get, it through. Or okay, but like, caught, okay, yeah. but let's say like all the cars on the bridge, if they were all like your family and cousins' cars, you know, it's like, subtle. Yeah. There's yeah. your Jeep. There's your Tesla. There's your. You know, come on, do something, bro. Hook us <laughs> up, bro. <laughs> I tell you what, my next yeah, poster I get to work on, I will make that. <laughs> yeah, yeah. A priority. Yeah, yeah. So, question for you, bro. Uh, this is obviously I don't. I, I assume it's not pencil and paper drawn. This is Photoshop. This is all digital yeah. painted. So you obviously using photography and editing the photos to make look this way. And oh, a lot of painting went on top. Now, was this before like the iPad concept really blew up or? You oh, would, yeah. You would I still thought it didn't exist. Yeah, it's 2012. Yeah. Yeah. Prior. This is 2012. This is prior. Like seven years ago. That's, that's this is 2010, ago. maybe. Oh, even, oh yeah, yeah. Yeah. Oh, for sure. Because we were working on it way before that yeah. movie came Today, out. Today, you so. would do that on an iPad without a question, right? I mean, there's no question about it. Or is there certain things There's that you still things. prefer Photoshop or, yeah? When it comes to working with large amount of photography, you still rely on photo, uh, yeah. Photoshop. Yeah. yeah. That's insane, man. Uh, iPad is um, more of a hands-on illustration, yeah. uh, kind of replacing paper if you were to draw on a paper, which is what how we did uh, yeah. three, four years ago. Everything was pencil and paper. Right. Um, so iPad kind of replaced that aspect of it. Gotcha. Photoshop still does its own thing. The iPad has just one, the role is just like one part of the whole process, right? Like Correct. It doesn't like start and end with the iPad. Yeah. Yeah. But but I know, I remember you telling me that at first it wasn't cutting it because there wasn't like you could, the intensity of how hard you press the pen on the iPad didn't matter. So you couldn't really do your full blown sketches before. And is that something that's recently advanced and kind of changed the game? Because it, I remember you telling me it wouldn't be able to replace it because the intensity, you get what I'm saying, how hard you push your pencil was pressure not making it pressure sensitive. That's exist. the word I was. Correct. That's a very good point, yeah. So earlier on when iPad came out, the early stages of iPad, they didn't have that option, didn't have that functionality. Mm -hmm. So it was a nice piece of device that you could view your photos and whatnot sure. and look yeah. at a map for good presentation but yeah presentation not something you draw on i did try it and i was disappointed gotcha i remember this wasn't this. it i remember yeah. this i was looking for other things at the time you yeah. know and the other companies made some other product that i think microsoft kinda, made microsoft right at the yeah time. surface pro i think yes it was yes called, yeah. which i would try every single one of them i would buy it and test it out and again, it just wasn't replacing. It just wasn't close enough to be so realistic where I would no. say, okay, I'm gonna put the pencil down and I'm gonna pick up this digital pen and draw with this. It just wasn't there. Yeah. Technology wasn't there until iPad Pro came out with the pencil. And as a matter of fact, prior to this coming out, what I was imagining is, I actually wrote, um, I wrote them a letter to Wacom Wacom is a tablet company where they produced Wacom tablets. If you're in art world, you're familiar with it. Um, and I asked them if they could make a technology where you can um, have a pencil and pencil have, will have a side recognition tilt when you tilt the pencil to its side, which is uh, how we draw yeah, yeah, with yeah, the yeah. pencil. For like shades and for, things. For shading, exactly. Well, so exactly. This, this bad boy does that. This bad boy does that. Get when he came here. out, when Apple came out, I was blown away i'm like oh wow. my god this is it yeah, yeah, yeah. rushed to the store and wanted to try it out it was but sold out no no no. it was there <laughs> and nobody I cared a twist. <laughs> i'll no. give you a twist <laughs> i'm just kidding <laughs> <laughs> so i look at it and i'm like okay i want to really try this out uh -huh. but there's no software oh, to I try see. it out i see they didn't even bother to put appropriate software where you could test it out gotcha and i was like okay well this is meaningless apple made this product they didn't even know what how good it was right right i went back a few months after and there was this uh at the time this app very inexpensive procreate mm. if any artist nowadays probably uses and is aware of what procreate it's the is. one huh procreate yeah so you put this two together and this was a magical combination wow. all of a sudden it was so good that it would replace the tracing paper and pencil we were wow, using. That's incredible. No more Prisma color and uh, charcoal pencil. So I got one, took it to work following day, changed my setup, mm. and I said, "This is it. This is what I'm going to work with." Mm. Everybody's like, 
are you sure? Is mm. this going to really work? Because you were so yeah. anti this digital yeah, yeah. drawing. Yeah, yeah. Uh, and I said, no, this is actually different. This is better. And so you uh, were the one who came in with this thing, like, guys, the future is here. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> you were the one. <laughs> it was a glow. <laughs> Um, so they pioneered kind of leveraging, taking advantage of the app, iPad Pro and creating the best kind of software for it, right? Procreate. Procreate already existed prior to um, iPad oh, okay. Pro, but it couldn't take advantage. reach its full potential mm. without the without Apple the Pencil. Pen. Yeah. So when Apple Pencil came about, yeah. all of a sudden, Procreate went from being an app to this incredible software that would do am amazing things. Yeah. So then it was just, it was spreading like cancer. Everybody was oh. converting to um, uh, working with uh, Procreate on uh, iPad Pro. Eventually our studio at work started buying into this idea and they started purchasing yeah. iPad Pros for every illustrator. Now the in whole department is uh, digital. It's like just Procreate. 10 bucks. It's only that, that it's only ten bucks. Yeah. They're ten dollars. I was thinking, you know, if it has a was, pro in the name. I was looking for a good two ninety nine ninety nine. Yeah. Three digits. Yeah, that's crazy, dude. That's ten dollars. Awesome. It's available. Ten dollars. So ten dollars, and you can make some crazy. Plot numbers. twist: pen is a thousand. Imagine. <laughs> <laughs> Imagine. I think it's like a hundred bucks or something. It's, right? It is hundred bucks. Like yeah, yeah, yeah. Bucks. that's that's good, bro. I'm not that's sure how much the new one is. The new ones might be a little bit more expensive. Might be a little there's a new one already there's a new version of this yeah, whole setup one. is it like the iphone where there's a new one every year kind of like pencil pretty much point yeah yeah. Series? Wow. yeah like the pencil i have here i pencil i have to plug it into charge the new one uh -huh. is wireless you just put it next to the wow. ipad it just charges oh as that's you're why it's touching it. your ipad right yeah well this one isn't that one doesn't do it but yeah. ne next new year one next year's model is gonna be wooden so you could bite it like a real pencil to be with the eraser on, on the with back. bite mark bite marks on it yeah did you yeah. see all the jokes where people were like damn we're kind of sad it's not the number two pencil people yeah yeah people they might make people it. miss pe people miss real pencils so much they make a sharpener for it you know just for no reason well that's a funny thing let me put this in don't real quick Go. all right first week of using the apple pencil i had my setup with the sharpener mm -hmm. obviously which was next to my easel yeah so as i'm working I reached out. I was going to put this in a sharpener. You weren't. That's when I realized it is so lifelike <laughs> that wow. I forgot that it, it's a digital pencil and I'm not wow. supposed to sharpen it. I almost stuck it in a sharpener. That they did their job. So, Apple yeah, yeah, yeah. succeeded. That, they, that was a turning point for me. The, 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 the sharpener? <laughs> yeah, that was it. That's when you knew. That's, yeah, that's yeah I'm you. like, I'm so comfortable. <laughs> I forgot what I was point. doing. Yeah. <laughs> I must uh, yeah, up, that's now, I must say, I mean, we could look at your artwork all day, but there's something I want to show. Besides the fact that he's a sketch artist, a damn good illustrator, apparently you're an inventor now too, uh, because you've taken what they've given you and you've created the... The tablet easel. Tablet easel, yeah. This is incredible. Uh, so yeah, why don't you cool. give us a breakdown of what this thing is and why this thing is. So pretty much uh, when I started using the wow. iPad Pro, I realized that I was only utilizing, uh, since I'm a lefty, I use, utilized this much of it. So when you're holding a pencil, um, your hand needs to rest your space is super surface, limited and you super got a very limited. small space to work because otherwise if you go off yeah. your hand falls off and then yeah. your line has this weird jaggedy mm. uh, mark so um, automatically I was only limiting myself to use this much of it and I thought yeah. it was such a waste that I'm not utilizing all of it mm. and I felt upset about it so I'm like I gotta do something about it it's it got to be something to hands. extend the surface so my right. hand will glide so I made a uh Foam, foam board one to mimic this I, you know uh -huh. to test it out and it worked you were on to something. i used it for a week i'm like oh this is good it's working but uh -huh. it's not good enough yeah. i need something better then um did some research and uh after doing a, a research for a few weeks to a month moment of truth i <laughs> came up with this wow. it fits perfect that is incredible bro i even went and i got myself a cnc machine to machine it myself uh did the design myself wow. so basically it has the pencil holder holds the pencil charging charger cable yeah cable opening. can go out of here comfortably you got a couple of clips there Refer to put your references references that's incredible left-handed and right-handed 
to get this full blown. It's like a. Uh, oh, geez. it works good, bro. It feels right, bro. It's like you know how in the in, you it's know so like cool. Bob Ross has his like palette. He's not gonna have all the individual yeah. colors, but he has something where. Yeah. I feel yeah. like that's your palette. You kind this of reinvented palette, yeah. the wheel here. You know, you kind of did. <laughs> <laughs> it was it's it beautiful. was necessity. You kind of did. <laughs> Uh, it, that's nice. I, I know people might be interested in this. There will be links below the video, uh, one to Suren's pages. And if I know if I was if I could draw anything better than stick figures, I would be picking one of these <laughs> things up. And I and I think I still will be. That's but but you bro. can't. So that's it's no use to you. You know what? Let me tell you something. Me bro. neither. Don't worry. There was a point in my life that I was obsessed with the idea of drawing, and I still love. I drawing. remember you showing me I some. I remember my, yeah. I used to draw a lot, bro. When I used to draw a lot, and I thought I was. I, did, I knew I wasn't Van Gogh. I knew this, you know. <laughs> but uh, that's quite a jump there. I, it's yeah, no, for sure. But I just always enjoyed. I've always liked the idea of having an idea and then seeing results fast. You get what I'm saying? I like quick results. I like to see something come to life, from brain to paper, whatever brain to video editing, anything, uh, mm -hmm. screen. But the second <laughs> you have told you this, before. I met I meet Sudo, and I then when. God shows me what a real sketch artist is. I just put my thing to the side and said, "Welcome to the family, buddy. <laughs> Welcome to the family." Buddy. Yeah, no, I sorry, I'm sorry. Like There's some things, bro. School cannot teach. There's no secret. There's some things that school just cannot teach. And I'm sure you can agree with me on on that one, uh, because my nephew Michael is what six years old now, five, seven. six, seven years old now, and he's already draws really good bro and that's not they didn't teach him at school and true, and, true. and do you see something special in him sophia is extremely talented too but as far as drawing goes i think michael's got something special yeah, he's got he's got talent he's got something bro he's got something that I michelangelo you should see his mm -hmm. work bro you should see his work i think i've seen here or there yeah yeah for his, his wall age, is like all spider-man and uh venom and like transformers like he'll this kid will go to the park and collect rocks and make a dinosaur out yeah. of the rocks bro like you just you and you didn't tell him to do that right you didn't it's, guide it's him towards that he, he just does it on his own that's, incredible. that's kind of beautiful yeah. he that's just incredible. picked it up and he loved doing it you know and his creativity and his observation is what stands out the most yeah because other kids will just take it for what it is he will go deeply into it and try analyzing it and figuring out why. Yeah. And and therefore he'll make those drawings to try to tell a story and whatnot. He he wants to make his own comic book now. Are you serious? Oh uh, yeah, yeah. That's his newest thing. That's his newest thing. <laughs> Other than making a movie because he wants to, you know, be a YouTuber, but also he wants to <laughs> make a Seven, comic book. Bro. Should we like move on with some of these guys? What do you think? Let's see. Let's see what we got here. Maybe quickly scrub through them. I know there's yeah. a, the a, a, a Alien Covenant. Yeah, this is a, a fun poster, I must say, because always been a big fan of Alien, huge fan of oh, that yeah. movie oh, yeah. franchise, and uh, also H.R. Geiger, uh, rest in peace, was obviously the designer of the creature Alien. Mm -hmm. Right, a right. Big fan of his art right. as well. And so for this project, when we were working on this project, the filmmakers wanted um, some uh, wall of, uh, how should I say it? The artwork had to resemble the world of Alien. Gotcha. And they wanted it to be very Geiger-esque. They wow. wanted um, uh, kind of paying tribute to Geiger right. uh, for this one. Yeah, yeah. And we had to come up with the image from nothing. Uh, obviously, we did a sketch of the torture scene. This had to look like the engineers, uh, which you see in few areas. Engineers are being tortured by the alien creature. Right. To kind of foreshadow <laughs> the what's coming in the movie. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I hear sounds of torture watching, looking at it, dude. It's crazy. So then weren't you saying, and I already have it pulled up here, that there was a bar that is, in, is you know, inspired by Geiger's work in like Switzerland or Germany or somewhere. That's very true. Yeah, there is. And I have um, it here because I remember yeah, we were talking pretty, about this one night. It's pretty <laughs> interesting. I thought I'd share it because like, look at this. No the entrance way. to the bar. No way. And you go in and like, look at that. Like, I would want to have a drink cool, there. You know what I mean? Bro. That's cool. I know it ties to the alien stuff, so. 
That's yeah. interesting. I thought I'd bring Off that to up. Switzerland. Off well, to Switzerland. We definitely <laughs> Let's get a watch while we're there. Let's go to Geneva. Yeah. I'm sure so they this, have a Geiger watch too. So this isn't <laughs> the sketch though, right? This, this is not the sketch. Um, after uh, the sketch was complete, black and white rough sketch, I realized it wasn't doing justice to yeah. what the vision was. So I convinced the higher ups that you know, <laughs> I'm going to build this in 3D. I had access to 3D software at the time and 3D know, software, you know, you didn't sculpt this thing. This is no okay. 3D software, yeah. 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 Cinema 4D, ZBrush, and started sculpting this. Of course, we didn't have time. Obviously, in movie industry, you never have time. No. Everything is due now, yeah. or it was due yesterday. Mm. So we had to come up with something very fast. I went home that night. I worked at home, stayed late, really late, composed it, brought it to work following day, did the render send it to the art directors. They put the logo and everything, send it. That was that. Went well. They yeah. liked it. Yeah. Ended up being a poster. Went to finish. <coughs> and it was almost, I'd say, dream come true because I always wanted to do something Geiger-esque. Yeah. Yeah. Just never had a, That's cool. you know, opportunity. Yet this was Geiger-esque for the movie Alien. Hell yeah. So it was, it was pretty it's much a, It like, was a passion uh, production, right? Yeah, a which passion, is... work of passion. I didn't mind staying up super late and doing for the sure. work when you, you say know. it's a 3d model you if so on the software you could actually kind of move around this thing and like the head there's it's literally 3d right you could correct could, you could reposition position this from the top angle if you really wanted to i'm guessing yeah yes you can move around you can get different angles of it <coughs> um but it was meant to be viewed at this angle which yeah. which is the the best, gotcha. you know, best angle. Because as soon as you change it, all of a sudden, it's not as exciting. No. Um, it kind of reminds me of like a Dante's Inferno. It was. If you were kind of going for that. but It was actually, yeah. It was the uh, influenced by that. Inspired it really by much, like, very much looks like you know, yep. something out of the, very much so. the trilogy. Very much so. The I, way it's lit and everything. I, yeah. Yeah. You are left-handed. I want to go back to you being left-handed. And I want to say something. Did you know he's left-handed only when it comes to drawing? Mm. He only draws with his left. Everything else is right. Yeah. Like, are, so you cross, are you cross dominant though? Can you draw with your right if you want, want it? Or is I it, could. Yeah. But just not as I could. Be as I, good. I have. Probably those would be my bad drawings. <laughs> yeah. But I have done it before because I had injury uh, on my left hand at some point. You're There's Kobe Bryant. Car accident. You're the that. Kobe it's Bryant okay. of drawing. Using my right hand. <laughs> Was Kobe Kobe's left? done that too. Was he Kobe switched left? it up. Uh, Injured finger rolls off the other. That's a beast thing to do. <laughs> <laughs> Why your tonality? I, I was saying he's the he's the he's the Zach Harut of drawing. <laughs> Zach Harut uh, plays the guitar with his left. Uh -huh. um, That's funny. So if you were to write with your left, it would look uh, kindergarten. But if you write with your right, I can write opposite. No, he's like good with mirror. his left. No, I can he, write mirror. I see. Okay, so you can. Okay, my question is... But when I write, I write with my right hand. You write with your right hand. But Correct. you could write with your I, left and it would be just fine. Yeah. Look at this cool result. I just wrote Kobe Bryant, like, right-handed, and it says Kobe... I don't know if you guys can see that. Kobe Bryant injured his right shoulder, so he, so he played left hand. And that's it. It ends <laughs> there. So you weren't making this up. <laughs> so he played left-handed. This, like, this is like Chuck Norris facts, you know? Like, the Kobe Bryant. I once, love those facts. Uh, those were so good, bro. What happened? What happened to the those? The internet really, really, uh, you know... Went on his downfall after that. That was the end of it. No, no that's, that's when I start stopped. There's so much uh, that goes into that. Like, I, I want to say the the shirt that I'm wearing here is also another Sudan project. Power of Four Apparel. Uh, whoever follows me on Instagram have seen uh, have seen me promote it before. It's these are all original drawings by Sudan. Uh, you kind of wanted to uh, drift off and kind of do your own projects. So you were obsessed with the idea of just creating stuff. So he correct. So um. Uh, I hope you have new designs coming out soon, by the way. I really, really hope so, because these are some of my favorite ideas. Shirts. You have sick ideas, yeah. I, I know you wanted to drift off into some, like, musicians and the Sayat Novas and Komitas and things true, like this. True, I would rock those with pride, bro. I really would. So please continue doing Power of Four Apparel. I'm telling you in public here. I want people to watch this. Please keep going. Uh, he's, we'll do. he's got the Vartan Mami Konyan shirt uh, and stuff. Uh, but I, we've never seen like such an artistic touch on with people. You just usually take like a generic photo, slap it on a shirt and things. But that's not the case here. So you're doing a lot of things, bro. Is there anything you're 
anything in, that you're looking to do is there do you have any future plans and I know you're like in the process of moving to Pasadena yes yes we we'll finally 66. be neighbors but in the in the world of art and creativity is there anything else that you want to pursue is there anything that you're kind of uh, want to venture off and do anything in mind well it's a loaded question it is um, is there anything you've always wanted to do that you hope to kind of pursue because you parasailing <laughs> Wow! Create. You know, it, for him, it would be more like invent a new parasail. Yeah, yeah. Sure, and that's how draw that a parasail, a different uh, shape. Draw parasails. Uh, <laughs> I can draw parasails. <laughs> like sail, like sail, like transactions. Um, I've always, I'm actually my passion right now is doing 3D, doing more 3D. Really? Okay. I just love doing 3D because the, as an artist, I think I'm more of a sculptor. Than, than a painter. Really? Yeah. Uh, when yeah. I was studying in, in Armenia. You haven't done that for some time though, huh? Like I know you used, I, to, you used to sculpt a lot. Yeah, I used to. I used to. I just haven't because as I started doing 3D, yeah. so 3D is kind of like replacement. sculpting. Except you don't get your hands dirty, right? You don't get dirty. Yeah. So it's we not could as expect expensive. some kind of like Call of Duty characters from you or a video game world interest you at all? Very much so. The reason I haven't gotten into it is it's very competitive. Gotcha. It's very difficult to get into. Yeah. And so since I've been so busy with movie advertisement, I yeah. haven't had a opportunity or chance to venture into video game. Yeah. But always interested me to do video game uh, concept art, character designs and whatnot. I'm not so gonna, maybe in the future. You know, I really think I you could do no it. I really think you could kill it, man. I think you, you can and I think you should redo that Sonic bullshit. What was what that? Is, do internet. Sonic. <laughs> Please do Sonic. Did you see over. what the internet what went crazy over that? What are they doing, bro? Yeah. What are they? Have you seen the Sonic movie character? I have. That Please pull that thing horrible. up. Horrible. I'm sorry for the negativity, guys, but you got to see what Sonic looks like. You know, once, <laughs> once. It's, it seems. I feel like it's still a joke. I feel like they're gonna tell us we're just kidding. We're not doing Sonic. If we did, it wouldn't look like that. Ready? Is there a new one? Isn't it this? Oh, Is yeah. that the new one? Like, what is this guy, bro? <laughs> <laughs> we want Sonic back. No, no. We want Sonic. We want this back, you know? Yes, yes. Like this looks so weird. I think they should have just started their kind of like conference about this with we can't do a Sonic movie. Sonic is not that character. I think yeah. Sonic would have to be a cartoon. It would be more yeah. like a Pixar animation type of thing, wouldn't it? True, true. Something just don't transfer out so well into uh, yeah. live action. And ninety million budget. budget. In, like imagine they tried to make like a Family Guy movie. It just can't work. It just won't work. Yeah, it's Family Guy will always be a show. Cartoon gives you uh, possibilities that you, you can't have in a movie, and um, and vice versa. You know, so yeah. That was, that, hey, that was good. Right. Nar, nar. That was good. <laughs> that was good. Buddy. You know what? I think <laughs> I think there's a. I think there's actually the the version we were seeing was a redesign, so uh. that is what it looked like. So I people, hate no, both I think, of them. I think that wait. I think that like first that. one is the redesign. This one? Yeah. Oh, Reason, probably. No. Would you imagine it completely differently? Would you do something completely different, suit, or would you kind of be? Honestly, this this um, animated world isn't my it's not cup of tea. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I don't see myself, you know, having anything to say about it. Hell yeah. Yeah. Look, okay. You like ask they, me to design the next alien. For sure, I'll be down. Yeah, for sure. I'm, uh, I'm sorry I even said that. Yeah. Jesus, I just what was yeah. wrong with me. I wasn't thinking. There's better artists <laughs> out there that will. There's do. people who specialize in that yeah, exactly, yeah. but they seem to have have a hard time with. They this just one. maybe they can't find them. <laughs> okay, like for example, P a Pokemon, right? Pikachu. Pikachu, yeah. The Pikachu movie. That he's still really Pikachu. Well. He he's he's Pikachu in a real world. I could understand that. So I would I would imagine yeah. Sonic would be a similar maybe way. Maybe they should contact the people that did that. Yeah. Yeah. Designers. The internet rioted and they changed anything? it. That also shows the power of, you know, you have an online voice too, you know? So many people complain that they actually like, okay, fine, we're doing something different. Isn't it that's crazy how crazy. loud the internet's voice that, is? That, that's what I'm saying. Yeah. It's you crazy. could just protest with a click now. You just yeah. protest something with it's a click and click. It news is spreads instant. It's instant news. But at the same time, look at the promo the upcoming Sonic movie got, whether or not this, uh, the character right. sucks. You get yeah. what I'm saying? Yeah. So it's exactly. kind of like a... A double-edged sword. Um, For sure. It's crazy how the internet works. Are, are we missing anything? While well, we have Suda here, do we want to talk to him about anything else? Do you have any questions for Suda? Speaking of the one thing I want to add, yeah. the internet making something popular. 
If you go to the Wolverine piece, oh yeah, oh yes, quick, we gotta show there's Wolverine. An interesting story about this. I can't forget. So this was again one of those where we have a direction. The original is at his house, by the way. Oh, I think yeah. The, the original, it. right? The big one is at your place. It's it's not the original. It's a uh, high re, um, ah. high end print that they did. Uh, they did one off prints that um, uh, of the poster. The original was very small. Oh, okay, okay. I don't know. I thought the original was huge. I don't know. Um, yeah, no, we're not allowed to take any. Really? Uh, it, it belongs to the studio. They almost wouldn't tell the difference. I'm mm-hmm. telling you. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, that was incredible. It's like uh, the, this one was actually just was just an idea sketch you did, right? And then they're like, "Holy shit!" Yeah, like if the one. idea was to make <laughs> a portrait uh, and make it look Japanese. Yeah, yeah right. Yeah. And the theme of the movie was the theme of the yeah. movie was Japanese. So they like you know make it like a sumi brush type uh, uh, artwork, and I'm like, "What are you talking about?" Yeah, I was confused, and then I'm like, "Yeah, maybe watercolor," you know. So I got me the brush and the watercolor paper and, uh, you know, painted it and um, ended up, you know, going well with the client. They liked it, so on and so forth. They started posting it online. And this is when they realized that, oh, this is doing really well when they got such a good response on yeah. social media. Yeah. All of a sudden, they're like, we got to do more. Gotcha. We ended up painting same style of all the all other the characters, characters. I remember. Which I I, I'm like, I don't know if it's going to be as impactful because, you know, it works with Wolverine. It works. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. But because uh, online presence was so huge, it was just yeah. being, you know, so many clicks, like you were saying earlier. Then we ended up. The people have spoken. People they have like spoken. Like, yeah. We want more. They gave them more. And who wouldn't want, who, what X Men fan wouldn't want this poster in their room? It's very X Men. Bad. Ass, bro. I remember every time I would pass by a bus stop that had this, I'd go like, Sudo! <laughs> <laughs> it fades out. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah, man. Awesome. Hey, well, Sudo, thanks for joining, bro. I'm so pleasure. honored to pleasure. have you yep. here. Such an honor, an honor to to be my brother-in-law for that. You're my brother-in-law, man. I call you my family. Such a cool dude. Thanks for joining us. So glad I got you in season one. Uh, because there's so many kids out there pursuing what you're already killing and you know what i mean and i feel like it's going to be a big inspiration to them and a big motivation to for them to see something in armenia in the market with similar personality traits similar uh talents and i just i thought that's really important to kind of put out into the world bro so thank you for taking your time to be here bro yeah, it's been an honor time, it's been a pleasure he's you left the <laughs> <laughs> and he like said such spy. good words today yeah, and he yeah. said such good I, things I, today yeah, yeah. My bad, not oh, <laughs> i think right. i think one closing question when are we going to the geiger bar in switzerland okay we're going to switzerland guys thank you yeah. click subscribe show some love thanks for watching guys we love you